Earth Babies. How you doing, beautiful queens and handsome kings? Welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot, Virgos, Capricorn, and Taurus. Subscribers, unsubscribers, and cross watchers, welcome, welcome, welcome. How my Earth Babies doing? How you doing, beautiful queens and handsome kings? How you doing? See what's going on with my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Oh, oh shit, y'all got shit going everywhere. Goddesses, express your divine feminine energy, embracing this magical intuition and nurturing qualities. Okay. Goddesses are with you. They want you to express. Now, we know everybody got masculine and feminine. All right. We can't just be, yeah. And boundaries as star love yourself enough to say no to others demanding of your time and energy all right all right now when are they telling you to express your feminine side my beautiful queens and handsome kings y'all got too many people demanding too much of your energy Have you ever snuck out on the first date? <laughs> Who's sneaking out on the first date? Wow. Most places ain't even got... Yeah, somebody's sneaking out. Look, this celebration. I'm going about my business. Oh, shit. Somebody didn't look like that picture. Look. Beautiful queens, handsome kings. Y'all got somebody. Y'all got um, a bitter bitch or a bitter bum around y'all. This motherfucker's cruel, deceptive. This is just a mean ass motherfucker, queen of swords. She already ruthless. But to be upside down, y'all got a mean motherfucker around y'all right now. Yes. Ooh. And manipulative and cold hearted. God damn. Y'all need to be careful. To have the Queen of Swords upside down and the King of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. It won't be no recovery in this situation. I know no wines. I'm tired by that's fatigued. That's stressed out. That's burnt out. And you how could you not be stressed out and burnt out with somebody that like that around you? Y'all need to get y'all yeah. Y'all need to cut some um back. Make some boundaries with somebody. Yeah. Y'all got somebody around y'all that just got strings attached. They greedy. They stingy. Not, they greedy. They stingy. Some of them greedy and stingy trying to take your pinnacles. Some of them greedy and stingy trying to take your energy. Some of them both. Yeah. And it's time to release yourself from this situation, baby. Hang man. Hey, man. And some of y'all been stuck in your way, staying in this damn situation, because you know the hangman can release themselves whenever they want to. But they so, you you know, my way always work. Well, guess what? All the blood going to your goddamn head and you can't motherfucking think right. You are being a needless sac sacrifice staying in this shit. This person's manipulative, cold-hearted, cruel. Deceptive, evil. This this is all evil, right? Here. They cold hearted and don't give a fuck. Whoever this person is, they don't give a fuck. Angry and stingy next, y'all. If y'all, mm. but guess what? It ain't even a secret. It ain't a secret. Of who the fuck this person is. You have knowledge of who the fuck this is. Y'all deserve better. Y'all deserve better. They're not even sorry for the shit they're doing to you. Because they're so in emotionally immature. Page of Cups. This person ain't even sorry for the shit they're doing to you. Because they so. Damn. Y'all this got me making me want to cry. What the fuck is going on with this person around you, Earth Babies? What's going on? 
And I hear, going down tonight. Y'all, I don't know if this is a teen, and I hope it's a teen, because you know kids, they, they just be learning their empathy and sympathy, but nah, my ancestor just said, this person know fucking better what they doing. This person be spying on you. They gossip about you. They're a manipulator. They're a manipulator. And if this is not, they still a kid. This is an adult in a kid-ass body. I don't know who this bitter bitch or this bitter bum is. But you don't even have no motivation for this. You look, you are uninspired to be in this situation. You have no more motivation to work it out with them. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. You're a rising phoenix. You came out the ashes. So you've been through a lot with this person. You've been through a lot with this person. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm like this because this reading got me fucking emotional. Some of y'all are crying. This person has did you dirty. Or when it comes out, the proof of what this person did to you is going to break your heart. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. But you won't be crying over spilled milk. You will move on to new, new relationships. You will. Now. <laughs> you, I don't know if this uh, first date going to remind you of this person. Because <laughs> you're moving on to new relationships to make you sneak out. Or are you going to realize that you're just not ready to, you know, try something new yet. And still got some healing to do. Either way it go, I understand. I understand. But now I know why they said boundaries. L love yourself enough to say no to others and demand your time and energy because this person doesn't have no boundaries to be this cruel and deceptive and unapologetic and they want you to have just like this person is uninspired and have no motivation it, it's time for you too which i know you did because you ain't crying over spilled milk but yeah but no this person trying to do shit to avoid you from turning your back on them they want you not to be, yeah that's why they, yeah, yeah, but whoever it is, they're going to get some uh, punishment for their excessive ass pride. Whoever the fuck this person is that's been doing you fucked up, going to get some punishment for their excessive ass pride. Yeah, and either, and, yeah, and they know it. They got anxiety and sleepless nights. They know it. They know it. They know it. This bitch won't look. Somebody wanted to be you. Smothering, self-centered, a lot of insecurities and jealousies. Yeah. I don't know where I was. I'm sorry, my beautiful queens. I think I was talking about this person burnt out and stressed out. Or maybe I was talking about them finna get punishment. Either way it go is, you're very spiritual. You have the desire you, you can create anything. Your spirituality is going to guide you or already guided you out of this situation. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bad person. Bad. This is a very bad person to be in your life. Yeah. Look. look. You're a rising phoenix. I said you can, do, you can create anything. You came a long way to get to where you at. You came out of the fire. This person literally tried to burn you up. <laughs> I don't know why I hear arsons. This person has really broke your heart. They have. Ain't no end. This, whoever I'm talking to about this person has really broke your heart. Broke it. And they don't even care about breaking it either. That's the worst part about it. They don't. They don't. But you had in your inner bravery. 
You have willpower to keep on going, and you got strength. You had to have strength to make it through this. And look where you at. Now, whether this is a family or a relationship or a friend, they now seeing that you, you are right. Whether they, you, they in your life or not, they now seeing it. They now seeing it. But I think that's what's pissing them off the most. I know that they couldn't crush you. Yeah. Look, this person still has a lot of secrets and illusions. This person be fucking with demons. See that demon coming out the water? There ain't no crab or no scorpion. No. This person. Yeah. This is a very negative ass person. Very negative. They tried to cause you a lot of sadness and depression. This person tried to cause you a lot of sadness and depression. And it's time for, ooh, y'all set boundaries with this motherfucker. You got to. If you ain't already put this person out your life, it's time. Because this person, but everything's going to be fine, even though they stabbed you in the back 10 times. Everything's going to be fine. They won't be able to defeat you. But, baby, they sure was able to hurt you, though. Because this person was close to you. You never thought this person would do it. But it ain't for you to get this person back. Because this person had a lack of self-awareness for themselves. This person don't even love themselves. So they, they was never, ever going to be able to love you. This person don't even love themselves. They don't. They don't. And it's time for you to put a death to that situation for you to have new beginnings. Not new beginnings with this person. New beginnings in life. Yeah. If it ain't already came out, it's going to be a message that proves everything about this person. It's going to prove it, th that this person has a, caused you a lot of confusion with their delusional ass. And that don't mean confused you in the head. It means confu a lot of confusion in your life. This person caused you a lot of confusion in your life because they delusional. They delusional. But you now you have freedom. You've unbinded yourself from this devil. Stay, stay have boundaries. I, I would never even let this devil be around me again, but that's on you. Yeah, this person is woo. Woo. And they was in the third party teaming up against you too. Because I know this don't mean they're trying to come back and collaborate with you. No, this person was on the third party against you. Or maybe they are trying to come back and act like they want to team up and collaborate with you to avoid you from walking away from them. Because they're trying to get you. But that'd be bad planning. That'd be a bad motherfucker. That'd be a badass decision to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this person has a lack of direction. This person is very aggressive, and they have a lack of direction. They do. This person has a lack of direction in life. In life. And look at all these motherfucking pages, y'all. Lack of commitment. Trying to cause procrastination. Y'all, this part. Somebody dealing with a team. That was too many pages. Somebody dealing with a team. Or somebody dealing with... A baby father, a baby mother, or a grandmother or a grandfather that's giving them problems over a kid. That but that adult thinks like a kid. That was that was every fucking we didn't see every page in this reading. Every page. This I thought there's gonna be a lot of messages about this this situation. It's gonna be a lot of messages. Whether there's messages come out that this person was collaborating with other people or somebody sends you a message that proves to everything you knew about this person to come out. But there's, there's, there's going to be a message. Letter, email, text message, phone call. Somebody is going to get a message to prove to you everything 
that you knew about this delusional ass person. I gotta get one more card. And I gotta go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was. I said one more card. And they gave you four fire cards. Give me one more. Give me a closing to this. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And you uninspired and unmotivated to even go in this no more. And just like my, I had to go away and come on back. They're telling me go back to that. Yeah, you are you uninspired and unmotivated to move on with this person no more. But they saying that that's what's gonna happen to this person. It's gonna be the, something out of nowhere. Just like something just came to my door out of nowhere. But now I'll never have company. Just like I had to stop this video for no something out of nowhere is gonna come out of nowhere. Yeah. And it's and it's gonna stop this person in a track. They will not be able to win at all. A cause a message is gonna come out of nowhere to prove to you everything you already knew about this mean ass person. This person is fucked up. There ain't no other way to say it. This person is fucked up. But everything's gonna be fine though. Everything's gonna be fine. But that message is yeah, look, it might even be on the phone. I forgot I just looked at that. Y'all finna get a message. Phone call, text message, email. You finna get something about this person. And we're out here like a cop call. Y'all know what? <laughs> like describe. I said like describe. Somebody's gonna describe everything you already knew that this person was doing. Wow. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. I love you beautiful queens and handsome kings. This message got me kind of saying, do I want to put it out or am I supposed to do it again because I came in and out? But they saying, no, somebody needs this message. I love you beautiful queens and handsome kings. I'm sorry y'all going through this because this, I'm sorry.